Hello and welcome to another quick cue video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the visualizer. We've implemented some new features to make using the visualizer as a standalone program in quick cue a lot easier for users. This will be in software version 8.0 and forward. In the past, when we wanted to work with the visualizer, we had to open up the visualizer window and we would put it into a 3D plot view. And that would allow us to see the 3D view over here on this side and a plot view on this side. And then we could work with fixtures and move them around in the same sense that we're going to by putting it in design mode and moving things around and stuff. Uh, one of the new things that we've done is we've added the ability to keep this in 3D view. So you can resize your window here to use it however you want. And you can open up now a new window, open new window here. And you can open up a new window, which will give you your plot view in a separate window. It allows for a little bit more space on either of the individual programs. So that way, each of the individual windows, so you have a little more space here in the plot view and some more space here as well to see things. So again, we have to go into design mode in order to move things around and add things and uh, stuff like that. I've already created a show file here that has some stuff already in here. I've added some fixtures, I've added some elements, but we'll add some more. If we want to uh, add an element, so I have one truss in here already. I'll add another truss in there. So I'm going to say add right here. It's going to bring up a secondary box or window, pop-up window, which I can choose then here item type, and I can choose what I want to put in. There's lots of different choices here. Once you make a choice, you'll get some sub choices as well. So if I say furniture, for example, I get subtypes here and I can choose from all of these possible options. I'm going to put in trust for now, though. The distances are in meters. So everything in this visualizer as of right now is in meters. So you might have to do some conversions and stuff like that. It's really not too hard. You can, of course, Google it 3.3 feet to a meter. Um, you can rough it out, you know. Uh, if I want to do, for example, a 12-foot stick of truss, it's 3.65 meters. So if I say 3.65 meters here and OK, that's a 12-foot stick of truss. If I want to get rid of anything, I can just click on the item, straight truss that I just added, and I can say remove if I made a mistake or something like that. I can say this, yes. And delete it. If I want to add it back in, of course, just the same way. So trust. This time we'll do a uh, six meter long stick of truss. I got it in there. Now, if I want to move it around, once it's chosen and it has this little blue um, color to it with this little teal little tail on it, I can just drag it. I can just click on it and drag it wherever I need it to go. And you'll see it moving in real time in the visualizer as well in the 3D view. This red line here is my zero point. So you see here I have position and rotation uh, numbers right down here. Well, I know that if I zero this out, if I'm at zero here, then I know I'm zero from left to right. Uh, this is up and down, and this is back and forth. So if I zero out my back and forth, then I know that I am at the zero point uh, for my stage. So anything going beyond that zero point would be X amount of meters beyond that zero. So this is 2.4 meters off of the front of the stage. I can always zoom out and if I want to make it more like three meters even. I can do that. Now, if I want to attach some lights to this, I can bring lights individually out here. If I wanted to, I could grab one light and bring it out. But that's going to take too long, and I'm not sure I really feel like doing it that way. So um, when you patch lights in, in to begin with in the visualizer, they're going to end up in this window here. You can click on the fixtures. I can pick multiple fixtures by holding down Shift. And then once they're all chosen, I can say Attach. And I can choose what I want to attach them to. I'm going to attach it to this straight truss is the one that I just added. Say OK. And now they're all there. Now, as of right now, they're facing backwards. 
So the easiest thing for me to do would be to grab this and just spin it around. I can go to a side view. I can take a look at my fixtures here. Now the fixtures, now that they've been attached to this truss, they're nestled in the truss here. So if I look at the straight truss, I now have a drop down arrow here where I can open that up and I can still pick my fixtures. So the nice thing is now that I can pick my fixtures, I can turn them on here. I have to see what group it is. If I go into group mode, I should have a group of those fixtures here somewhere. There we go. Oh, uh, nope, those are my spots. Well, it doesn't look like I have a group of those, so let's make a group of those real quick. We'll take fixtures one, two, three, four. Well, we'll go into group mode, record that as number six. So there's my front of house wash. If I need to tilt these, I can again go back into my plot view. I've already grabbed them all. So now I can just take my tail and I can just tilt them up like that. I can still work individually if I need to. I can go to uh, a front view. I can pick the individual lights. And then I could always um, spread them out if I needed to a little bit still. I could take this one, and spread it out here, and move on to this one, and do something like that. So however detailed you want to get, you can get with it. Uh, let's attach the moving lights. We'll come back in here. Uh, another alternative way that I can do it is if I lasso them. So if I'm in here, I can lasso whatever fixtures I want. And then do the same thing. Attach. And I want to attach that to my um, front, what's called front truss, which is actually going to be my rear truss. And they're there. I do have a couple choices in terms of my hang type. So I can grab them again if I want to. My front truss here. Grab all my fixtures. I can say attach. Here is the hang type. So I can hang it normal is going to be straight in the middle of the truss. Um, if I want to, I can hang it on the rear or front of the truss, on the rear cord or front cord of the truss, and some different configurations here. Uh, I'll do bottom rear, say OK. And then now you can see that it put them on the rear of the truss. But they're all attached equidistant across the length of the truss, and it's good to go. Uh, the last ones that I have are these battens here. Uh, if I can't grab all of them, if I can't lasso them all here, because I'm also grabbing some of these park hands that are on these pipes and stuff, then I can always put it into a side view. And I can just do this and grab them that way. Or I can come and grab them in here as well. Okay. But now that I've grabbed them, I want to attach those to my pipe. So I'm going to say attach to the um, basic pipe right here. Okay. And now they're, they're down there. Uh, so I, now I need to grab my pipe and move that where I need it to be. I want my pipe to be facing up on the back wall. These are going to be batten up light type things. So if I turn them on, again, I'm in group mode here. So I'm going to turn on my group, find it. I believe it's these. I can then use this to flip these all around. And then I can kind of play with my height and my angles and where exactly I want to put it, maybe, things like that. I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe bring it down. Now yeah, we'll bring it back out here a little bit. I'm good. Put that back into a front view. Make sure I got everything. So every all my lights are now put in place. That's great. Now if I want to add anything else, I can just add what I want on top of or into my uh, into my visualizer here. I can add people. And then I get a person here. I can put them up on the stage. 
I can add a, uh, a guitar. I get the furniture. And I can put in a piece of guitar. Say OK. There's my guitar. Bring that up. And then now is where I might have to go into some different uh, views here. Uh, I can always turn this down like this. Then I might have to go to a side view. So then I can grab it and turn it upright. And then I can always put it in front of my singer, maybe give the guitar a little bit of a tilt. And there. Now it's behind him. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So I do need to take it. Then I can move my guy who's on the very front of the stage behind the guitar, actually. Just put him there. And that looks good. Now I can add as many or as little, you know, elements that I want. Uh, other people, I can make risers on here if I want to out of forms. Um, lots of little choices I can make. Um, but here in group mode, I have all my lights working. I can refocus these individually if I wanted to. Add any elements that I want. And then when I'm done, I can always just close this window. Resize this, and then I can start getting into programming. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us, of course, at support at kansaslighting.com. Keep an eye out for lots more videos that we have coming out on lots of different topics. And happy programming.